I mean, fuck it. Free advertisement. So. Who the fuck am I? I'm the guy trying to fly by most. I gotta drive my ride, I boast. You ever eye my side piece, don't. Cause I got a piece on my side, no, I don't. I got my CD on repeat, cause the beast beat that sub. Power up like DBZ, no GT, that sucked. Except for Super Saiyan 4, that shit was fire. Fire as fuck, so when I release an MP3, better retweet and love. I'm officially meta, better get the four walls. War calls, more fall. Pop corny rappers like Gore Ball. Red and Baka hotter than the core, y'all. I can switch a style up. Spit it slow as dial up. Why'd you fidget getting riled up? It'll take a while, but I'm spitting vile, bruh. You would never believe that I sucked when I first rap. Now all I ever get is love, and I earned that. All this sweat, tears, and blood. Fans return that. Look at all this shit I've done. I can't turn I'm back. Fun you know, this in hip hop, I think, uh, I think we don't take enough time to just enjoy what we're doing. I think we focus so much on being serious, you know, being lyrical and being talented that we, we don't even stop to just think about how great the shit we do is. And I'm gonna try to change that perspective. So let's do this. Yeah. I've been giving everything inside my heart and all my music can be solo. Master with the art, with the light of dark, day and night inside my dojo. Can I pull some bitches with the witness like a boat, homie? That's a row row. All my fans be watching me like a body cam or a GoPro. They don't. Doesn't really matter what beat I beat up, cause the industry shows me no love, just like Vegeta. Except for Dragon Ball Super, they kind of been, uh, really been giving my boy love. So you rappers better play dead like a zombie with a toy gun. Man, I live with my music, so live it to do with the gift. Terrific, terrific, it's a given to you. Gotta work the pen until your hand is falling off, and then you feel the genius spitting through you. Nobody told me like ever that I would be killing it. I'm living my life for the minute I'm giving it relevant. Damn it, I'm murdering beats, you can hear them in the streets like a megaphone on an elephant. Man, I'm just so real, catch me in the back, chillin' with your mom, drinkin' nigga bombs with the baker on, talk about the song, shitty rapper songs, yep, shitty rapper songs, dude, I really didn't want to, had to put you on blast, but if I get basic, it's back upon you. And I think it's really important that, you know, we get these opportunities uh, to, to still be topical and still be able to, to flex your abilities musically, but... I think it's so important you know, to to also be able to just say what you want to, even if it even if it isn't you know super crazy topical or anything like fuck Dragon Ball, you know. <laughs> Gotta get another try while I'm popping off, blasting off on a rap song like Team Rocket Jaw. Scatter your ashes to the mist like I got Brock involved. I'm like a midget playing T-ball, I can't knock it off. <laughs> My team, we see past the lot. Energy seething, we had to stop. All I'm trying to say is it's fucking bullshit that the legendary Super Saiyan Brawly's trigger word was Kakarot. I'm about to beat the brakes off of your bitch ass. You got no class, and your girl, when she gets so past all around the room like an old flask. I could even do better with no raps on an old Mac as an old man. I'm a spit of verses so potential You was thinking I was Gohan Ready for Rohan, ready for war plans Ready for anyone thinking they got dope, man Consider this, you find a warning You should take a chips and get about the dope, man Grab your coat, man, we give no hand Anybody who be rapping so bland I don't give a fuck, I'm having fun And I am free, you wait, and then you is no fan Hello, everybody, welcome back to another Sunday Wednesday What's going on out there, chat? Happy Wednesday What's going on, everybody? How we doing? Not going to spend uh, too much time yip-yapping and jaw-jacking and whatnot. I, for... Oh, excuse me. I, for one, want to get right into the show. I want to get right into it. What up, Slim? Uh, let's see who we got hanging out in the chat. Mama Kimmins. Okay, show's ready to start. Guys, we're, no, we're not going to do the thing. We're just going to jump right into it. I told you guys I had a good uh, stream goal. It made me laugh making it. And that's what matters. Uh, Bruce Campbell's Chen, welcome back to the plebs. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. This is a damn good rage. So, just a quick context of it. Uh, Mr. Snowflake, 
released his documentary and it was damn good. It was, that was damn good. I was expecting it to be more of the same, you know, just more of the same shit uh, that we've heard a million times, but boy, howdy. It was, it was put together very nicely. Uh, hello, Poltergeisha. What up? Uh, do the thing with the thing and the thing. Yeah. Like they, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, do the thing with the thing, the thing with the like button, the subscribe and the share and the slap saying, oh, you guys know all that shit. All right. Let, oh, I just want to get right into it. I already have it pre sped up. I was, I am ready. So he dropped his, dropped his documentary. Uh, she had already streamed for over three hours that day. So she jumped on and did this stream. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hello. Got to get my popcorn. Um, okay. Yes. All right. So, yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to react. I hear a lot. see a lot of people out there going, I'm ready, blah, blah, blah. Well, I, I want, where's my clicker? Here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to keep tabs on how often she brings up money because it is quite a bit. She is very upset about reaction channels making money. Uh, there was something else I wanted to do. Oh, we're going to, Miss Sin and I are going to do the uh, peach stream tomorrow evening. We're going to cover the peach stream tomorrow evening. To anything, but I feel like it's necessary to react to a few things. Um, because I was like, you know what? Everyone is saying that Mr. Cardigan's fair. He does really good. Uh, LaFlay art. Thank you. Welcome to the plebs. Research. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. He does really good documentaries. Um, no, I will not count those toward the Awu train. That is just not happening. But what I am doing is taking my echinacea because I, you know, I thought I just had a stuffy nose. I thought it was just my sinuses. I went away. It all went right into my ear. I have a very bad ear infection. Number one, Mr. Cardigan, you say that my, I'm not, I'm not a very good YouTuber. What about you? What You're not a YouTuber, let alone a good YouTuber. What about you making clout, making um, a following? off of the haters and uh, off of the same two women with eating disorders. Um, what about that? Hello, Amanda. Welcome to them. Um, so here's the thing. I have the ick now, too. I don't feel sick. Like, I don't feel sick at all. I didn't feel sick earlier in the week. I thought my allergies were just going crazy. Apparently, it, everything just went right to my ear. I have a bad ear infection. Get some antibiotics, you crazy guido. Uh, the pharmacy is working on it. I was at a urgent care not super long ago so that, that, that I'm, they gave me a z-pack so I should be fine I just have to go get it Mr. Cardigan has proven himself in this part one to be nothing more than a glorified hater um, with better editing skills because let's face it referencing your credible your, his credible research is referencing Michael B. Sweaty and Manasi what the fuck is that background noise your credible your I watched, uh, oh shit, I don't even have it pulled up. Hold on. Oh, loads. Cool, loads. I wanted to get started early, but we got loads. What up, Luna? How we doing, buddy? I uh, watched Netflix docuseries, in my opinion, fair. Uh, it was obviously he didn't like Chantel, but most people don't like Chantel once they get to know her. So she should be used to it by now. Yeah, she's abrasive, to put it lightly. Thank you, Gary. His credible research is referencing Michael B. Sweaty. Feel better soon, but that's the that's the crazy thing is I don't feel not good, but my like, I was going to the gym this morning. Hey, an actual gym talk. Uh, I was going to the gym this morning. I went to put my earphone in, and I was like, "Ow!" And I didn't think about it. And I like it stuck my finger in my ear, and it, that shit hurts. So I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go get this checked out." And man, I see you next Tuesday on Kiwi Farms. Okay. Um, Kiwi Farms is a hate, a vile, racist hate. Mm, sounds like a good day, Luna. If I ever give up this YouTube stuff, I'm going to come work for you. Forum, all right? Um, so you're going to hear these people doing this with their cars. So number one, you're not saying anything that mil like that hundreds of thousands of people have not already seen or said. You're talking about things that happened 
literally 20 years ago or six years ago. Um, things that I've already addressed. <laughs> it's her stomach or her shisha, right? So you're beating the dead horse to the point of it being pulp at this point. All right. So, but I want to go over a few of those things that make me a vile person. Number one thing that gets to me every time is um, putting my sister in the dryer. Listen, this Kathy friend of mine suddenly turned against me. Okay. I can 150% believe that she put her sister in the dryer. I can 150% believe she does that. And she's that, psychotic. Sorry. I could probably would still do that. Show you emails or messages I've had. Hi, everybody. Messages I've had from this woman. She's harassed other people like this. You didn't do your research well enough. You just take her word for it. She is vile. She is a stalker. She I just forgot or just realized I misspelled hater. I have to spell it the proper way. Well, don't you know all it? God damn it. All of her friends suddenly turn on her. There we go. Uh -huh. One. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. That's better. She is like insane, psychotic, okay? And I've been her friend for a while. Um, you did not see the emails that she sent to me. Are you going to show those emails that she sent to me first? Harassing me every single day, saying the most vile things. Um, she hung out at- What's stopping you? What's stopping you? Damn it, I still spelled it wrong. What's- what is stopping you from showing those emails? My house when I was with my sister, maybe two times. Like, barely ever. So, I don't know how she's a credible source of information for my past. Um, I never put my sister in a dryer. Prove it. I never, um- And the one thing we all know for sure, and I know- a few other reactors have said this when she says prove it prove it prove it prove it prove it that means i did it i did it did it did it told her she can't sit with us prove it i never check your works in it i did big hater money never ever treated her badly so that's one person that you say i treat badly in my life that you can scratch off your list compared to a lot he was a hater boy she said stream me later boy nice very good a lot of civil rivalries I've seen in my life. Mine was pretty good. Maybe she's annoyed me a few times. I was 11. Again, if you want to go back over 20 years, that's your prerogative. I don't know why people are so obsessed. If a documentary needs to be made, it needs to be the level of, of obsession with my past as a child. You know, I've seen comments, people saying her dad, this Kathy person said my dad ran. Like as if that it's my fault as a two-year-old that my dad left. Are you? No, it, it's your mom's fault. Oh, the, the hand is back. Oh, good Lord. The hand's back. Serious? Like, please. So I know the tone already for this stupid, idiotic series. Um, again, I don't live in my past. If you have something relevant to say uh, in the recent year, go for it. I know it's going to be the scandal with Salah. Whatever. We've already worked it out. We have a right to do that. It's our marriage. Hi, teardrop. It's futile defending, but you know what? Um, that person went on. Now, look at this. Smoking that shisha. Smoking that hookah. Cat in the background. On Kiwi Farms as a friend. Why is her finger purple? Her fucking blood pressure is probably like 190 over 110. Made up insane lies about me which there's no proof of. Um, she was vile. She used to have a crush on Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold from- Oh, she's got the CPAP marks too. I'm just noticing this. So she rolled out of bed angry. The Columbine shootings, all right? She used to worship them, okay? So before you use her as your credible- Now, to the people who have seen Better Call Saul, she's gonna fucking, she's gonna Hector Salamanca on live stream. She's going to be streaming and then just stroke out right on live. ...source of information to dictate my morality growing up. Maybe research her first. Hi, everybody. Who said hi? <laughs> Look how unbothered. Profoundly unbothered. All right, because I can go over the disgusting crap she did. She did some very nasty stuff to her sister. And her sister was a teenager and she was a teenager. So don't even go there. All right, please. So they were close in age and were mean to each other because siblings are never mean to each other. You were sec 16, 17, and your sister was 11 or 12, 10 or 11, and you pushed her in a dryer. There's a big fucking difference there. I'm not going to go there because she's whatever, but she's literally insane. Like, she is, she, she also lied about me sleeping with everyone's boyfriends. No, she did that. <laughs> <laughs> All her future live streams are... making the face 
<laughs> oh shit, that's hilarious. She did that. Um, I was seeing somebody, and behind my back, she did, she did something with somebody else. Anyway, I don't want to get into that, but she was the one who was... She's a liar, basically. Not credible source of information, all right? Um, what else? Oh, yeah, the cheese graveyard. Oh, yeah, I'm such a bad... I hear a bell, am I going crazy? I said she's going to Hector Salamanca on live stream, and someone said all of her future live streams are going to be her with the bell. <laughs> ...person for that, because I was talking about a true about a true crime, you know, like Stephanie Sue does in all of her videos, and she has millions of subscribers. I don't know. Like, what? Because I was eating cheese on Halloween, a cheese graveyard, and I wasn't disrespectful. I was talking very calmly. I didn't say, ha those people are dead. Did I say that? No, I didn't. So how- You kind of did. You said they're all, you're stupid and died or something. Like, you were dumb and died, something like that. Like, you might as well have. <laughs> Mobility, Mary. Am I being disrespectful? You're listening to a literal hater. Like, it's so stupid. Number you're listening to a literal hater. A literal hater. Well, us haters, ha haters. Us haters out here are doing the goddamn thing, baby. Or two, like... Which is why everyone enjoying the show should be smashing the like button, etc., etc. I showed dead bodies on the... They were covered in a sheet. I was showing the Nikes. And I'm sorry, but those people were part of a cult where that was what they wanted to do. So, I mean, something that happened so many years ago. Ooh. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's too soon to talk... Breaking news. Uh, Senate Minority Leader Republican Mitch McConnell will be stepping down in November. Yeah, too far away about that yeah it was a lot of cheese but come on whatever like again going over things that were so long ago like what the heck people are allowed to support sin supply of bells thank you <laughs> liz that's a good one and now i think we still got to keep big hater money but that's good support sin supply of bells change people are allowed to be different um saying that i treat everyone in my life poorly like who <gasps> pete's okay yes i did cheat on him we worked it out we're still good friends so if he doesn't have a problem with it anymore, why should, like, random strangers, you don't know uh, the, the dynamic of our relationship, you don't know um, the circumstances of everything. Even going far back as saying I threw a chair out of jealousy, who cares? How does that, like, how did I do? You're a grown adult throwing chairs because somebody said Megan Kelly was prettier than you, Chantel. You're a grown ass adult throwing a temper tantrum because somebody said that Megan Kelly was more pretty than you are. Ooh anything different grace kelly sorry but it applies to both than a lot of people you know yeah i know but lolo i'm just trying yeah uh, yes grace kelly but megan kelly is also prettier than her grace jelly to like point out where they're liars they're complete liars you know it's like there's five thousand people about five thousand haters i get it they're all the same people that have been hating on me forever you know people in the chat i see are like oh you said some vile things to me in cuba rage yeah but what about what you said to me like I always defend myself. I don't just go off on people for no reason. If you've come in here and you've said some really nasty things to me and I've been nasty back, it's not preferable. It's not good. But yeah, I'm human, okay? And I've been pushed to limits sometimes where I've said things I don't really like, you know? They do lie. I don't know who either of those people are, sadly. Uh, Megan Kelly is a uh, journalist. She is what I would call, without hate in it, a news entertainer. Kind of like a Rachel Maddow, Tucker Carlson type. But Grace Kelly was a actor. Actress. Is Miss Sin not here? No, she's got some stuff she got to do. She'll be here shortly, though. Um, saying I was, I saw a lie. And people believe it. And that's why they don't like me, okay? I know me. But like saying, for example, that I wasn't with my, I abandoned my grandmother when she was dying. I and my mother, I've said this a million times, we were the only ones there out of the entire family holding her hand to her last breath. So how did I abandon her? Chantel, calm down. Eat a burger. Be a man. Be a man. Uh, sorry guys, I'm late. Tell Shrek will love you. All right, thank you. Never happened. Fake lies. Dollar, um, dollar bill, yo. Yeah, I know. Exactly, Stride. They only focus on the reaction to what people say about me. Limbug, welcome to Grand Party. So we're just going right across the bottom. Shame, shame somebody, rants about haters, gaslights. Bing, bang, boom. Hamburg time. Uh, hey, Pinky. Everybody said these. Thank you, Limbug. Another thing is, that we like to treat our audience like crap for not supporting us when we fail on diets. No, what we don't like is the fact that, you know, there's been a point, there's been a long journey with this where we didn't really recognize all the time that, you know, that we had yeah, eating disorders. Sure. For a long time, I just thought I was like overeating. I didn't even really understand what I had as an eating disorder at the beginning of my YouTube. And I failed diets a lot, yeah. But what I would be defensive about is- oh, Grace Kelly in rear window. Oh boy. People coming in and fat shaming me and putting me down for not 
doing well on my diet. So that's what I was addressing. I would address the shaming, you know, of people coming in and saying, you're such a failure. We know it. And then you're going to say I'm a bad person. Oh my God. I keep, I don't know why I keep forgetting. I'm remembering earlier and earlier in the stream though. I'm not an hour into it this time. Uh, we have one McKinley package ready to go out at a moment's notice. And we have about 60% of the Knights of the Awu package, the big 777, we have it visualized, and we're going to start working on it as soon as we can. ...person for defending myself against that kind of behavior, abusive behavior towards myself, of me saying, you know, um, well, too bad if you don't like it, you know, get out of here. Well, it's true, you know, um, just because I put it out on the inter internet doesn't mean I have to accept your abuse towards me over and over again and not ever say anything about it, you know, and it's just so stupid, like, I don't know. You can be po more popular than me, I don't care, but the fact that you do the same documentaries people have done a million times on Amber Lynn and I, it just makes you another stupid hater with nothing new to say. So congratulations. <laughs> it might not have been new information. There was some new information in there, but it might not have been all new information. I'm gonna count plays with food as the hookah. And the rat was in the, or the cat was in the background. Uh, laughs at something unfunny. This whole thing is kind of uh, clickbaity. It might not be new information, but he put it out in a new way. And there was some new stuff in there. 100% Funkle activities. For sure, struggle breath. Stops talking to hit hookah. Not bad. She's rage binging the shit out of it. So that, those are all falsehoods. What else? What else? I'm disgusted. Oh, I farted. Sorry. Nobody ever passes wind, I guess, right? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, again, that's something that you're going to, like, be grossed out over me. I would like the money for these packages. Hey, man, if they, they can come and they can go, and it, it, it's up to whoever wants it. But keep in mind, if somebody does feel like supporting, because, well, I'm already a member, you can donate for somebody else to be a member. Passing wind six years ago, like, or telling a story, the story about the, the three, the other two people. Let me tell you about that story time. They invited me. I was in. Sin doesn't pass wind? No, I fart like a man. Cornwall. They were in Ottawa. They paid a cab. Oh, gee, I see. This is why we don't just jump into things. Uh, one more thing worth putting out there starting uh, tomorrow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be going through the uh, donos. I'm going to be doing a dono audit. Um, so if there's one that you like, let me know and I won't get rid of it or hit it. So it's fresh in my mind and I won't get rid of it because I'm going to cut a lot out for me and they were really nice to me on the uh, chat and everything they saw my picture everything okay they saw what i was like they, they saw the picture you put as your profile picture it doesn't show you eating for a family of seven there was they paid for me 150 120 to 150 bucks for me to taxi to them and then uh, to me to get all the way there and they treat me like they're snobby towards me you know obviously i'm gonna feel a certain way about that and i was totally normal because you catfished them stupid normal i didn't pass wind i didn't act gross i acted normal i was actually kind of shy we were listening to music and everything like that and then um, they like bought me a bunch of alcohol, like a ton of alcohol shots here. Oh, and that reminds me. Uh, we ended Friday before I could read Tina S's donation. I had to take a shower cause I didn't want to smell like foodie, but holy hell, that is a lot of food. I thought I might be able to eat that by myself when I was 650 today. Five guys burgers can't even uh, finish a cheeseburger by myself. I love you, Shelly. Thank you very much. Tina S. Sorry. I uh, cut it whatever and then like at first it was okay of it then near the end of the night <laughs> things started getting you know and um they had no plumbing like i didn't know that their, their toilet had no plumbing they had no water they had this is a lie because either she lied then or she's lying now and i believe she's lying now because who the hell has no plumbing in an apartment and no toilet paper you just got mad they didn't fuck you so you shit on their walls literally had no toilet paper. They had no what am I supposed to do? Like, am I villainized for not being not being able to hold in my bodily functions? Like, please. Yes, you're an adult. Hold your fucking farts. Hold your shit. You're a grown ass woman. Yeah, he never has his gas. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what the heck? I don't get it. I don't get the obsession with these things. These story times from years ago. This is like, well, why? What, what's the big deal? I don't get it. It is that scene from Dumb and Dumber. It's on the ceiling. It's on the ceiling! Pass wind, cut the cheese. Seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh. And yeah, an article was done about the cheese graveyard, but they didn't take a stance on it. They wanted my opinion. I think you should have sniped this premiere plan too. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. Because you know what? I bet part two is going to be victim shaming because I can tell the tone. He's just listening to haters. 
Part two is going to be victim shaming. He's not going to believe my story with Nader. Because you weren't abused, stupid. As is like credible sources of information. Please, it's all crap. Of course, people love drama. She can't change and won't. And like, do you think you're a good person by coming in and telling somebody that they can't change? I've made a lot of changes and you're not the dictator of morality in my life. I'm sorry to tell you. It's years ago, literally. Because you have no morality, and that's fine. You can't really judge other people's morality. But you yourself have no morality in your life. Unless it's feeding you or fucking you, you don't give a shit. And like, oh my gosh. Like, um, the thing with Pete's, like maybe 17 years ago that happened? So I'm not allowed to change and be a better person and make mistakes? Please, like get a life. I like how she's so mad she's literally drooling down her chin. She's probably no she probably knows how much like traction reactors are gonna get off of this. So yeah. I'm allowed to address things if I want, you know? Um no it's not my own words. It's not my own words, that's the thing. He didn't use my own Foodie sub count is at ninety nine two two three. Mmm. Congratulations on hitting one hundred thousand the other way, Foodie. Good job. Own words. Like some of the stuff, yeah. But what's the big deal? Like, what's the inference you're taking from me telling a story time that happened 17 years ago? That That's not even the same person anymore. And then making up things from this hater f former friend who made up all these lies about me. Where's your proof? It's not a credible... Using Kiwi Farms as a credible source of information from a... Kiwi Farms literally archives what you do. They don't just have, like, one random person coming in there going, You know, I think Chantel put her sister in the dryer and everyone's like, Yeah, dryer. That, that, yes, she did. I, that's a fact, yeah. They don't just come up with this out of fucking nowhere. People who literally hate my guts? You don't think that they have lies to tell? Come on, please. And then the irony is that you're going to sit there and, and call up my lies in a documentary, which I haven't seen any yet, by the way. I haven't seen any yet. Yeah, you haven't? I'm going to put a big X to doubt on that. I haven't seen it, but I know exactly what he said in it. Then how do you, how, how do you know? How do you know? The documentary is full of lies. I haven't seen it. But I know he lied about me in it. How do you know? Did you see your community post? It's pathetic. I did not. And I'm going to put the uh, official exited out on uh, that one. There were hearts in the chat for my ears. Thank you, guys. Oh, let's take a look. Uh, oh, that doesn't look real. Uh huh. I am checking here. Thank you. That doesn't confirm anything. That just confirms the lady said I'm looking for the conversation. Stupid. She's so stupid. Uh, Salad's bank stat. Oh, fuck, I'm not reading all this. I'm sorry that happened. I'm very happy for you. I, I do see that. I became concerned. I checked Salah's bank statements. Imagine not trusting your husband enough that you have to go check his fucking bank statements. Ah, oh, insane. She's losing her fucking mind. Shut up. So? You know what would really make her mad? If you guys hit the like button and shared it out. I don't, don't hate on Kiwi Farms because of the women in the beauty parlor. And I'll send you a card. Well, I'm just saying that they can be pretty hateful to people, at least on my... And we all know how she feels about uh, donations, Streamlabs, Super Chats, etc. ...my page, and I've seen some other things, okay? And I've seen, especially this Kathy friend. She I'm waiting for her to rage today. I'm, I'm hoping she just takes it easy for today, because I have a feeling we're going to have to hit this one in two parts, and we still have the peach stream to cover. She was horrible. She was harassing me every day. I'm pretty sure I put her email. Yeah, she wouldn't even be able to read a statement, actually. It's probably it's probably not going to be in English. Up there, too. Of course, no one's going to show that. No, of course not. She just posted. Why the fuck are you people doing what are you doing? Two days ago. No live stream, no video. I threatening CPS on her? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And I'm pretty sure I apologized for that a long time ago. I never did it. I never did it. Um... I said she, I didn't think that she should be in, you know, raising children because of her level of morality. Imagine sitting around, um, being a hateful harasser and your kids are privy. Fee for foodies, photoshopping teacher. Not bad. 
it to this. Same thing with some of the reaction channels, saying the most disgusting things, fat shaming the same fat women online and raising children. Hey, what kind of me? children are you going to yeah, raise? Bullies, hello. You know? So she just was like so horrible to me and I was just like pushed to a point where I'm like, you know, and I never called anything. I never called them on her. I never did that. So. No, I didn't even home. no but you threatened to call CPS on somebody because they were mean to you on the internet, you fucking psychopath. Oh yeah, that's true. Like somebody said some words online you didn't like, so your first and instant recourse is to go, well, you shouldn't be raising kids. You have a name with the word cunt in it. You shouldn't have kids. Meanwhile, this loser wanted to adopt kids with a literal crackhead. Yeah, that's true. You, Could you used, imagine how that would have turned out? You use the word cunt online. You're not allowed to have children anymore. <laughs> yeah, Miss Sin is here. I'm here. She's here for the it's Shreks. It's cold outside. I'm freezing. She's here for the Shreks and the farts. That's that's not true. Pam, where's my words, Tiny Pop? What are we eating? I got nuggies. I wasn't there for my grandmother. Where's my words that I put my sister in the dryer and treated her horribly? Where's my words on that? Hmm? You deleted it? Can you it? tell me? No, you can't. No, they're not from my mouth. My story times? Yeah, sure. But so what? what? How does my story times make me a bad person? That I had to use the washroom and there was nothing to clean up with. The things that he's saying... Make uh, to Shelly, hello. Me a hello. horrible person are things that haters went over a million times that are not like the cheese graveyard. That was so long ago. And it, no, I'm sorry. I don't regret that. I don't regret that at all. Because I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I'm telling a story about a dumb cult who did some really... Even in the retelling of it, you can't not be insulting. No, she can't. I don't regret it. Look at her eyes. Uh, her BP is probably through the roof right now. Oh, I'm sure. It was a bunch of dumb people who killed themselves because they're dumb. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I wasn't disrespectful. They were stupid. They should have known better. <laughs> dumb things. And to me, I thought it was ridiculous. Like, you know, and I was just pointing out the story. I wasn't saying, oh, my gosh, it's so funny. They're dead, you know? People do true crime and mukbangs all the time. Yeah. Like, but because it's me, I get singled out. Don't even deny it. I enjoy it all. Exactly. So many people love my story times. It's what made me uh, who I was then on my channel. You know? So how are you going to sit there and now hate on it when you guys all love the entertainment from it? You know what I mean? Well, half of no. her story times, I think, were lies. Mm -hmm. That's why she doesn't remember, claims she never said that. Because she was just making shit up 90% of the time. Yeah. Yeah, Lady Ravenhill, exactly. No, what people enjoy are reactors watching this. That's they don't true. enjoy you doing it. You doing it on your own is unwatchable and boring. Yes. They have to have the filter of actual entertaining people there. Or us, if that if there's none of them available. <laughs> yeah, they said I put my sister in a dryer. Yeah. yeah, he spent a few minutes talking about that with no proof at all. That that's, I, I apparently, you know, treated the cult with me. I'm sure there is video somewhere. Yeah, well, so, like, still, I'm still story. allowed to talk about it. It doesn't mean, like, I'm being disrespectful. <laughs> it's just going to be a live mukbang. Mm -hmm. And we'll check in on it. ...by talking about something that happened so many years ago. And, like, I don't know. It's so weird that people were so offended by that. Like, people are so offended by anything I talk about. You know? What were they offended about recently that was such a stretch? Oh, yeah. I apparently was laughing at the... Uh, you know, when I was telling the true crime story I recently did. Even though I was just laughing at the name Schneeberger. And, again, you're going to, like, say, oh, she's disgusting. Like, this, this kind of outrage is what I'm talking about. You're telling a true crime story and you're laughing at somebody's name instead of telling the story. Yeah, I, I didn't find that that offensive. That's not really a big deal. Sometimes people do just reach for things to be like, oh my God, but who that, cares? But that is stupid. It's stupid. Like she's, But it's not like it's extremely offensive. No, it's, it's, it's not she offensive. She giggled about a funny name. It's not offensive, it's not but like if you're doing was... a true crime story, just tell the story. People add comedy into true crime stories all the time. She's not good at comedy. She's not good at any of this. No. You know? No, I never bought subs. Prove it. I never did. Not once. I could show you my bank statements. I never did. Sally did. Mm hmm But I checked his bank statements, and he didn't do that either. Right. Sally did. Imagine. Imagine not trusting your husband enough when he goes, I did not buy you sub. Mm hmm I bought me sub. Yeah, he to probably bought To go check sub his too. bank statement on it. Is that, that what she is said? in Arabic. That's not what she said. It is. Oh, she did. I checked Sal's bank statements. Uh, yeah, she, okay. Sure. 
And it's and if could she read it anyway? It, it's in well, Arabic. It would it would be a payment to some random company. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't say YouTube subscribers right. three hundred dollars. It wouldn't say that. Thank you, Gary, for the dolly. Unfortunately, your words and actions. No, Tiny Puff. No, it's the, the the lie is being told and the twisting and the outrage because people make money off of that. People make money off of that. I'm a very normal person and with a past like everyone else and I'm a different person now. I don't do those outrageous things that I've done. Everyone's done outrageous things in their past, maybe even worse than some of the story times I've told. And if I was so ashamed of the things I did in my past, I acknowledge I them. Know. I own them. You know, I, I don't know who them. you're I talking them about that everybody, in that. You know? Uh, Mr. Snowflake cheats on his family with girls on his Discord. I don't need proof someone said it. Exactly. You know, saying that I put my sister in the dryer is a pretty big accusation with no proof. No proof. He said. There's got to be proof somewhere. Why don't I apologize for my wrongdoing? Spoonie Nerd said, just got to work. Nothing more ironic than hearing Mary Haram play the morality police. Love you, Shelly. Love you too, Spoonie Nerd. He said there's no proof of it that he can find. Uh, You're the one coming out here and saying it like it's fact. Where did this story come from? That's, that's uh, my question. Like, I, I think it was her friend that told the story. One of her story times or somebody else said it? I think it was her friend that told the story. Ah, uh, okay. Like, I, I can fully believe it. Yeah, I, I can yeah, 100% course. believe that she did it. Or at least that she like told what? somebody she did it. Uh-huh. Whether it's true or not. But I could see her say that. Like what? I'm pretty sure I have. It doesn't matter. People don't want an apology, Bluebot. People want to keep villainizing me. It's lucrative for them. That's what they want to do. So I'm just going to live my life, whatever. Keep beating the dead horse with my past. 17, 20, 17, six years ago, it doesn't matter. Literally, I've grown. I'm not that person. Yes, I'm still fat and I have problems with food. That doesn't make you a bad person. All right? Like, it doesn't. Being defensive no, being when people come at you. being fat eating doesn't make you a bad person. No, that's not what anybody's talking about. But that's what she wants to it believe. make you a bad person. That's her excuse. How is my past vile, Susan? Like what? And yes, a lot of people do have a worse vile past, including people who react to me. Like who? <laughs> so... It's never going to be that bad for Chantel if there's somebody in her mind she can point to and go, they're worse. Yeah. yeah. It's always just passing the blame off on somebody else. Exactly. Even if I did, I'm not going to apologize for what? For farting on camera? Like, what the heck? For telling a, a story that, that was so long ago? Like, I don't get it. I was just a kid. Oh, yeah. No, I know, Willow Creek. I'm just bringing it up. Like, that's just so stupid. I find but, it just so Ra- dumb. Why are you bringing it up? You're bringing it up for content for the people that you don't like. That's all she's doing. She well, could just ignore it, move on, not talk to her Facebook grandmas about it to encourage them to go and watch it. But no, she's going to come on, rage, make sure they all know so they can all go see what a horrible person she is well, and here's give the thing. reactors content. Here's the thing, is that Foodie assumes that everything anybody says that she did makes it makes her a bad person. Yeah. But nobody said that. No, nobody there's... said you're a bad person for farting on camera. You're a bad... You're an asshole for shitting in someone's house because they wouldn't fuck you. Yeah, that's gross. But that doesn't make you a bad person. We're just laughing at your made-up stories. Mm-hmm. The only thing that makes her a bad person is the way she treated her cats. Animal abuse and the litany of other things that does make her a bad yeah, person, but it's not this actual stuff. things, but it's not being fat or farting on camera. Oh. Can Salah say hi to prove he's still can you logically tell me why I would live alone here? Then maybe I uh, can talk about it. Because you're desperate? Oh, well, he can't say hi, hi can he? Rose, well, Weird. Why can't he say hi? Because you're desperate so and you do anything to make the internet think you have a man. This is the Kuwaiti version she of it. She just wants no. to be close to him still. My streaming schedule? I don't really have one yet. Hi, Maggie. Her whore makeup on, that's fun. Yeah. Um, anyway. No, Ren, I'm pissed because it's not true. Get it right. Thanks, Pamela. Yeah. You can think I bought subs. I don't care. I didn't, and that's all I'm going to say. If you can prove it, fine. You can't. You know why? Because it didn't happen. Just like the dryer incident. It didn't happen. Um, but I've proved myself a lot with things. I've had received... <laughs> I think thou doth protest too much. <laughs> it's about my medical records that I've been in outpatient care. I showed a lot of receipts in my life. Did they get ignored? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Don't raise your blood pressure. No, I'm not even, like, I'm not even, huh. I'm just, I find it laughable that these people. Well, she's totally calm. Just she's just totally laughing it off. Uh, fire away, Shelly. I'm having cheesecake as my birthday cake. Oh, that's a good idea. Cheesecake birthday cake sounds great. Nice. Happy birthday. Beating the dead horse with the same stupid things that I've already addressed. 
I mean, look how red her face is. Mm -hmm. She's got the CPAP mask on. Her left eye is twice the size of the right one. She's furious. I'm fine. She's just (laughs) laughing it off. You missed it. I said she's going to stroke out like Hector Salamanca mid-rage. Uh-huh. And then someone's like, she's going to be live streaming with the bell from now on? <laughs> she's gonna... <laughs> you know, oh, I'm such a bad person. Over things that are not even true. I never, ever did that. A lot of those things. And See, like, even when it doesn't pertain to Better Call Saul, it always comes back to Better Call Saul. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Or who I went, went to bed with in my past. So long ago. Why does that matter? You know, like, I don't know. So, yeah. So you're going to take a morale. You're going to believe somebody saying that I laughed, like I did all these bad things, which are all lies. She said all lies. All somebody who lies. idolized Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. Gotcha. And why would anybody believe that? There's no proof. Prove it. Prove who, it. Who supposedly did this? Her ex-friend, who she called CPS on. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. We have 550 people watching right now and 46 likes. Oh, that doesn't math. Is that even right? I, um, might I'm sure that's not correct. Uh, no, it's 150 <laughs> likes. It still doesn't matter. It still doesn't matter. Guys, smash the like button, share it out, do the thing with the Streamlabs down below. Miss Sin's here, we need our farts, and uh, starting tomorrow, I am going to be doing a dono audit. So if there's a dono you haven't seen in a while, you like, you can't remember, blah, 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 today's the day to hit it, because a lot of these are just going to go. We're not doing the voting thing again. They're just going to disappear. <laughs> Aww. So let me None know. None of the ones I like, though, right? I, I don't know. So, guys, let me know what you would like to keep. You can put it in the chat. You can hit it up on the Streamlabs, all that stuff. We have one McKinley package. Right after this show, Miss Sin is going to be going up to the studio to get the other two ready to go. We don't mind putting a third on that one. That's true. And we have a good chunk of the mental work for the Awu package done. The mental work. Well, yeah. We figured we, we, it out. We figured out what we want to put in it. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for no thumbnail, no stream boss, no Eve, no squee, no Shrek, no perfectly timed dono, no awoo, no goal, no cops, no club, that don't math, no farts, no captain, no cat noises, no neighbor shenanigans, and let's get a big all hail blue whale. Can we have no window open? Hi, Vanessa. It's freezing in here. Thank you, DJ LOL. Yeah. Yep, I know I've changed. I don't need to prove it to anybody. That's fine. Me and people would hate to see what my siblings did to each other. I have a scar in my face. Yeah, well, you know, I've never done anything like that to my sister. Yes, the Awu package. Uh, we have a new donation at 777, the big one. And it comes with, it's a new Awu. Only seen once. Mm-hmm. And it comes with a package. Yes, it does. Sure. Never. And I think she was jealous of You can think all you want. It doesn't make it true. You know, like, people just assume, like, I said, maybe, like, it was a bit hard to go from a single child to having, but my mother never ignored me, even though I had a sister, you know? So, yeah, they live in the past to make money. Exactly. So how credible and how genuine are is... Uh, they don't really get restocked, Wild Spirit. I just happened to find a couple when I was cleaning out my uh, studio. Like, once they're gone, they're gone. There's no getting them again. <laughs> yeah, and then we make new ones. Yeah. Are these documentaries going to be? They're crap. They're not documentaries. The gorilla one's staying. It has to. It's a train. The gorilla one is a train. And yeah. it's Miss Sin's favorite. It's my favorite. They're I just, they're I mean, if I'm such, a, I'm such a bad person and my content's crap, but you make multi-series for hours on end about me? Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, Chris Chan has, like... Oh, no, it's only her. It's only her. Only she gets this done to her on the internet. There aren't documentaries about every weird YouTuber right, who ever exist. See? Life. Aww. Wife fight back. Kill wife. Wife go. I like when the wife Think fights back. Wife. I think she should do that Regret. more. Hmm. <laughs> she get killed. <laughs> right. Thank you, Liz. Oh, yeah. One on the gorilla train. And she looked at me and she said, oh. <laughs> Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Sin. I hope all is well with you both. Uh, keep the gorilla regret because God is Shelly and it makes me happy. Also, does this count as I won't talk about drama? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um... We call it bingo. I'm waiting for the bell rant when asked about FFG. (laughs) (laughs) She's got to make the face. Oh, that hurts my ears. Uh, Thank you, Liz. And yeah, ding, 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 ding. ding. (laughs) Uh, I think this is an awu, and I know because I like the timing. You're right, Zero the Hero. Thank you very much. Good work, guys. Wait, I got it. I got an otter. I'll see if I can get him out. Otter, give us a mouth. Ready? 
Best meow ever. Go. Tiniest meow ever. Mm -hmm. Could we even hear that, Otter? I don't know. Uh, the 101 donation? I don't even remember if I have that up, honestly. That one might have been gotten rid of. I don't remember. Huh. Now I want to go look. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's there. Um... I don't know, Viper. I don't know. Uh, do Comic Club members automatically get a new package when a new package gets made? Some of them do. I they, have a list. They did, but it, that would be a lot. I have a list of active people who have joined the Stacker Club and who still hang out and do all that stuff, but if you joined it four years right. ago and you don't come around anymore, I'm not going to bother. Right. That I think last time we even got one returned from somebody who wasn't around anymore when we resent them out. <laughs> and then we got one returned with the hashtag unsubscribe well, yeah, that statement. One too. But no, I mean, I think we got one like post office return. Yeah. There's... And it was somebody who wasn't even around anymore. Yeah. So I, I got to be a little. Cause, and you know, people move, all right. that shit. If I haven't seen you, if, you have, if I haven't seen you in, since the last one went out, then. Right. I feel like that's fair. But yeah, if you're still here, that would be acceptable. The unsubscribe stay mad thing was fucking hilarious. It's one of those things that I don't think I'll ever forget. Uh, hi, Sid and Shelly. I know how much you both love Shrek. Have you heard the smutty romance novel based off of Shrek? It's called Get in My Swamp. I No, I didn't even want to know that existed. I'm sure Shelly would love it. Love no? you both. Stay awesome. Thank you very much, Retire Redneck. I don't believe you. I didn't put her in the dryer, period. Yeah, Mr. Snowflake puts his kids in the dryer. You put your, your one of your relatives in the dryer. Somebody told me that. It was Jimmy. So, yeah. And, like, that's the thing. People believe these dumb things. You know? No, I like the primary colors. Sheep, exactly. Let's chill out and fart together. I mean, so what? Like, I, yes, at one point when I started YouTube, um, you know, like, I was talking a lot about my... And saying that BB never looked comfortable on camera because he didn't want to be on camera. Ever. People are always like, oh, he didn't love... Yeah, of course he didn't want to be on camera. All you do is sit there and stuff your face and go, isn't this good? You like this? Sin reads Swamp Fic. You. He didn't love you. We were together seven years, and I broke up with him. I broke up with him. So how did he escape? Well, that, he would have never the left. The one person never. she but ever we were... broke up with. But and she didn't. Yeah, I doubt it. Her and Amber have one thing in common over everything else. They don't break up with people. No, they, they chase people. If they have a partner, they won't break up with them. Right. We grew apart. There was no desperation. Like, I fell out of love. That's plain and simple. No, you didn't. You were all in on the BB train, and he decided to cancel his contract and get with another woman. Right. Well, she cheated and thought that that would be okay. Yeah, she thought that it'd be fine that he would just deal with it. And then pretended what she broke up with him because she was in love elsewhere. No, no, she wasn't. Well, how it was, no. and like um. Even his him him being in her videos, you could tell he didn't like her. He was annoyed by her. Like, well, it, it, even when she did the video with her family and she was making them all eat on camera. Yeah. If nobody nobody is comfortable doing that. No. Do I regret cheating? Yeah, and I've said that a million times. Nobody wants to eat in front of her. She can't you know? even get salad in the same. No, I'm not raging. But food. thanks for the five bucks. So oh, no, she's not raging. Like, please. oh shit. This is very open. Like, very very open about. That's the wrong button. Thank you, dude. I'm not that person. Yes, I'm still Man, fat and I have problems with food. Strip. That doesn't make you a bad person. All right? Like, it doesn't. Being defensive when people come... <laughs> make Sinatra stay mad here. <laughs> Thank you, ISO Band. <laughs> that was, the guy got so mad because someone in my Discord turned him down. That yeah. he sent back the package. Never came back around. I'm actually doesn't desperate. make you a bad person. He should have gotten with foodie. How mm. is my past vile, Susan? Like, what? And yes, a lot of people do have a worse vile past, including people who react to me. So... Who's the Susan? Exactly. She's Even if I did, that's not I'm not going to call for what? For farting on camera? Like, what the heck? For telling a, a story that, that was so. Uh, definitely keep this one. Cheers from the Netherlands. All right, Crab Rave is safe. Thank you, Frankie Fish. Thank you, thank you. So long ago? Like, I don't get it. I was just a kid, oh, yeah. Courtney no, says House because... is in escrow, closing March 14th. And nice. Off to, off the Nevada? Off the Nevada. Off the, no off with Nevada. <laughs> oh, and then she's going to send him a killing. Nice. Oh, thank you, Courtney. Uh, thank you very much. I'm just bringing it up. Like, that's just so stupid. 
I find it. Well, hopefully you can get it before it gets claimed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's exciting, getting a house. That's very exciting. I don't know what escrow means, but it sounds like it's an important step in getting a house. Yes, so good job. It means job. where everything's in motion. The money's good in the account, and they're job. waiting to give you that's the That's exciting. House. God, my ear hurts. Holy shit. Take yeah. your headphone off that ear, maybe. You're just so dumb. What's good, white privilege Wednesday? <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Anyway. No, Ren, I'm pissed because it's not true. Get it right. Uh, she went from 100k to 99.2k today. Oof. Oh, I love that for her. Pamela. Looks, because she got up to like 102, and then <laughs> the to cat woman came in her chat and was like, hey man, you never mentioned that you had all this drama around you, and Chantel saw and she's like, I don't speak Arabic, and just kept going. Really? Yeah, and now, randomly, like 3,000 subs are just gone from her channel. Hmm. Oh, I love that for her. Yeah. And she can say she didn't buy subscribers all she wants, but we did see her sending super chats to sub for sub channels mm -hmm. to basically buy subscribers. Yep. Her super chats were buying her subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm. Either way. You can think I bought subs. I don't care. I didn't. And that's all I'm going to say. If you can prove it, fine. You can't, you know why? Prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it. Because it didn't happen. Just like the dryer incident, it didn't happen. Um, but I proved myself a lot with things. I've had receipts about my medical records that I've been in outpatient care. I showed a lot Wait, of didn't receipts. didn't we already see life. this? Did they get I, I feel like we're I... way behind. For things that are not even true. I never, ever did that. No, we're like a lot of those things. Much and like, farther than oh, that. Know. I know what my siblings did to each other. I have a scar in my face. Yeah, well, you know, I've never done anything like that to my sister. Never. And I think she was jealous of never. everything. You, yeah, because you were like... 12 years older than your sister. Nope, nope, She's never done anything made to her sister. Uh, nope, nope. Just making sure my favorite stays. Love you, Shelly and Sin. I, that one was probably safe, but thank you, Pinky. Thank you. I love it. Do you I love like it? that one, too. Do you like it because it's pink and you're pink? I think so. I think all you want, it doesn't make it true. Oh, and, of course, with every club join, a Pinky song. That's true. Those you know, are the fuck best. it. It's not because I'm poor right now. If we can fill up the, bu the bar, the goal, the big hater money goal, we can have a song anyway. Hater. I just noticed it. That's, like that's good. You know, like... The proof is in the stream. <laughs> people just assume, like, I said, maybe, like, it was a bit hard to go from a single child to having... But my mother never ignored me, even though I had a sister, you know? You're, oh, you you weren't a single Wait child, a but for, like, two years. My mother never ignored me. But also, didn't you say you faked a suicide because your mom wasn't giving you enough attention? No, it's because she wanted to go stay at her boyfriend's house. Oh, okay. So... I want to hear the stacker song, So Barf. I could have swore she said she was attention-seeking. I want to hear a stacker song, So Baff. Is that Livy? No, it's Shiny Magpie. Are you also drunk? Well, if we fill the bar up, we can hear one, So Baff. <laughs> yeah, they live in the past to make money. Exactly. So how credible and how genuine are, is, are these documentaries going to be? They're crap. They're not documentaries. Toddies do cure the soul. That's fact. They're just... I mean, if I'm such a, I'm such a bad person and my content's crap, but you make multi-series... Documentaries are crap, but... If the documentary shows the words coming out of your mouth, how is it lies? I don't understand. I don't understand. All the things that I said on those video clips are lies. It was AI generated voices. It doesn't make sense. It's on end about me? Okay, got it. <laughs> I don't believe you. I didn't put her in a dryer period. I can 100% see Chantel putting a kid in the dryer. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And she probably didn't turn it on, not but she really. probably put her I in there fun, and then laughed about it. Let's see what she's talking about here. Leander, thank you. Oh, she, I don't know what she's doing, but she's mad here. Oh, she's always mad. Mm. I would be mad too yeah, if this was my life. And I had nothing to look forward to but something to eat. She's Julia? Me uncomfortable. She's making me very uncomfortable. The people saw your tail. You can't hide. Leave that cat alone, ma'am. Yeah, Mr. Snowflake puts his kids in the dryer. You put your, your one of your relatives in the dryer. Somebody told me that. It was Jimmy. So, yeah. And, like, that's the thing. People believe these dumb things. You know? No, I like the primary colors. Sheep, exactly. Let's chill out and fart together. I mean, so white. Like, uh, yes, at one point when I started YouTube, 
um, you know, like I was talking a lot about my, and saying that BB never looked comfortable on camera because he didn't want to be on camera ever. People are always like, oh, he didn't love you. He didn't love you. We were together seven years and I broke up with him. I broke up with him. So how did he escape? He would have never left, never. But oh, it we is athletic pair. It was blending in there. I couldn't tell what it is. Oh yeah. It is an exercising pair. We grew apart. There was no like, <laughs> I fell out of love. That's no. plain and simple how it was. And like- Oh, um, Mr. Snowflake. Oh, over. Other over. Do I regret cheating? Yeah. And I've said that a million times. Other I down. live with guilt from that all the time. Hey, Snowflake. You know? Did okay. I get it? <laughs> you did. Good job on that documentary. It's very entertaining. Very good work, sir. You know, going into it, I was like, it's just going to be all the same stuff we've heard before. But it was put together so well. It was like a movie. And by the end of it, I'm like, wait, that was an hour and some change already? It was very good. That was very good. But, uh, Mr. Snowflake, I was just told that you put your family in the dryer. And that Jimmy dimed on you. Yep. Shame on you, sir. Jimmy the rat. No, I'm not raging, but thanks for the five bucks. So. Tell him to go suck a lot. So not raging. Um, he didn't like to be on camera, but I would. It's probably all the same stuff. Sorry about that. Well, it's all, there's a finite amount of stuff in her past. Right. But you put but it together nicely. In a very entertaining way where it didn't feel repetitive. Right. Just like, you know, he would say, okay, like, you know, he would do it for me, but he didn't really like it. He was not comfortable. He didn't like it. Like he only mostly showed the back of his head, you know? And, um, yeah, like. I don't know, showing a clip of me saying like, his, vid his TV is too loud. Yeah, it was, I'm trying to work and earn money for us. And he What the fuck money are you earning eating fucking farty lobster mac and right, cheese? Right, and this was when her channel was still very small. Yeah, I don't even think you were at 20,000. I'm trying to earn money after this guy just came home from fucking work all night. From actually earning money? Yeah. He doesn't even have the decency to turn the volume down on his game that he's- Let's get snowflakes in the chat for the man himself or his video he's been watching for hours. So I have a right to be annoyed. Like I'm trying to earn money on my video. Like that would be like me going to his pl work, uh, workplace and blaring TV so he can't concentrate, you know, like. Dude, I cannot get, I cannot get foodie Salamanca out of my head. <sighs> like, I, I just, Don't ring the bell again, it hurts my ears. Her sitting in foodie scooty. <laughs> <laughs> Damn bell away from you. So stupid. Yeah, I have the right to defend myself, exactly. I, I know I probably, it's not worth it, but... Um, it, you're just feeding the haters and telling your Facebook grandmas all about your poor decisions. <laughs> your, I, I don't know why you're choosing to let all these sweet old ladies know what you used to get up to. <laughs> Tell them about your wall shitty <laughs> <laughs> like They didn't need to know that. They had this whole idea of this nice person they that never, you are oops. in their head and they they believe that everything about you was lies and you're like, go watch the documentary and you'll see what a horrible person I am. It's, I don't know why. <laughs> you we're seeing Foodie's Home Painting Service. <laughs> A support sin replacement bell when Shelly takes it away. Yes, Liz, thank you. I would love that. I'm doing... No, I hate that bell. I'm doing it's foodie so Salamanca and she takes it and I just pull out another one. It's so loud. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> yes, Streamlabs for bells. Can we get a donation of the... I can't, oh I'm going to write God. this down. No, Actually. don't write that down. That's another thing I'm going to hate. Hold on. <laughs> foodie. It's going to be Shrek ringing a bell and I'm going to be furious. A lot oh of A's goodness. in Salamanca. Booty Salamanca. Are you actually going to make her bell? <laughs> the old man? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just going to impose her head on the, his face. <laughs> he's angrily ringing it when he's out in the desert. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so. <coughs> her with a camel ring. Um. <laughs> yeah, I know. Please stand by. I was just very open, like very, very open about everything you know way too open ma'am now this all tmi this is something all of you are gonna have to take with you to spread into other chats whenever she starts raging you just start putting bells in the chat <laughs> and everyone's gonna be like what's with the bells and then you get to explain it <laughs> it's too much to explain no it's not it's foodie's gonna stroke out like hector salamanca so she'll only be able to communicate with the bell okay. <laughs> it's like ding 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 <laughs> Uh, first donation ever. Love your channel. When I get monetized, I will donate more uh, to my favorite people. Thank you, Slack. I hope you enjoy the uh, t-shirt, I believe. Thank you very much. Imagine the time... I I'm down, no explanation. Mr. Snowflake's been on his bullying and applied it to someone more productive. <laughs> like, seriously. He's like, oh, and he's trying to be fair. He's sitting in a gray... Too bad not everyone's seen Breaking Bad, but Hector Salamanca is a ming. I'm Don't to be racist. I am, I a, am building. a building. Don't... Uh, she's not wrong about one thing. She doesn't actually K. Okay. 
uh, have anything to prove or have to prove anything. But if you're not going to prove anything, then it's just going to be your word against everyone else's. And unfortunately, your word is not worth a goddamn thing. That is That's true. true. That's that is true. true background trying to be a uh, soft white underbelly like get a life you're, you're listening to haters as you're it's not like soft white underbelly at all what mr snowflake does what soft white underbelly does are not close to the same thing no unless he just starts grabbing some random british people and starts interviewing them i mean then it would be the same thing then it would and you have to do it in black and white yeah of information please and, and you got a lot wrong by the way hi fiona I don't, I don't get it. Like, it's so stupid. No matter how much you try to... Um, no, I don't want him here defending me at all. Thank you. Um, I don't get all the effort and time spent on something that's just like... Like, what? Like, I don't get it. Like, stuff that's happened so long ago. He does, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Lynn. You guys are giving Snowflake said his... If you want an idea. In retaliation of what she said about Jimmy, what you should do is <laughs> have him... <laughs> I dress up as pre hijabi foodie and have him pretend to sit down as an interview and just have it be soft white underbelly. Yeah, with <laughs> her raging the whole time with a plate of chicken or something. <laughs> oh, Jimmy's going to do a rage, but you have to do it like soft white underbelly. You have to do the black and white. I need about the, the, the white lighting coming in, but just with this bread of food and doing the Homer Simpson dip into everything oh my God. while he's talking about it. Uh, uh, I want the pinky song. Don't so be racist. Be racist. I, I am, am a building. building. Don't. I want the pinky song, so to quote Starship Troopers, are you doing... I'm doing my part. Are you? i still never seen that movie. I don't think I have either. Maybe we'll watch that this weekend. Be quiet! Shut up! Oh, these are piling be up. Be quiet! Oh, these are really piling up. Okay, read them. Uh, she's puffing the shisha like a locomotive. Surprise, motherfucker. This is the missile <laughs> guidance system, bitch. I'm about to show you why the U.S. doesn't have... Like, I have this thing in my head spread out. Oh, oh this is a good one. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> That's a good one. I, I have this all planned out in my head. Like, I just imagine, like, the half circle. It doesn't have to be, like, a lot of food, just, like, a bowl of chips, a bowl of dip, a charcuterie board. Yeah. And a bald cap on, but mm -hmm. poorly on, so you could see hair, like, sticking out from under it. But it's just the haters. <laughs> <laughs> Bright red lipstick. Oh fuck yeah! Jimmy and lipstick is all I've ever wanted to see. Uh, she's probably, and which makes me curious about the caboose. No, Shelly, your thoughts on cabooses? Cabooses are porches for trains. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a fact. Uh, I've been singing this dono at work the past couple of days. I think it's starting to concern people. Uh, thank you, Emmers and Drunkle. He goes. It, I hear it once a week, and then it's in my head for a week, and then I hear it again. Yeah, that's good. Uh, people out there like the dog wick. That's dog wick is adorable. Uh, Pinky, I said if we fill up the bar, we're gonna get a song, but people want to hear a Pinky song. Uh, Shelly, please enjoy my kittens. I tagged oh. you on Twitter. I will look at them. Uh, thank you both for the entertainment at work. Question mark. Have fun. At oh, work? I think the question sure. marks are um emojis. Oh, but Streamlab doesn't recognize emojis. Maybe that would make sense. Yeah. Um. Ba, ba, ba. Katana Masako, time for a bell replacement. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, and then she'll take Life, it. Wife. Gotta hit that bell. Life good. Wife fight back. Kill wife. Wife gone. Think about wife. Regret. 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 Oh yeah, have right, Jimmy what? do I am the danger. Oh, that'd be good. <laughs> uh. Nerdy, also my first dono. Thank you for entertaining my workday. And that was for the Dog Wick 3284. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Thorax, and let's be honest, does anybody believe she would actually agree to sit down to do an interview? No, yeah, no. but that's why you have Jimmy do it. <laughs> yeah, that's, she can't be questioned. Chantel looks in a mirror. 
from Chicken Sushi. Uh, Chantel, look in mirror. Chantel hates mirror. Kill mirror. Think about self. Regret. <laughs> Thank you, Chicken if Sushi. If only Chantel could feel the emotion of regret. I don't think it's possible for her. Mm. <laughs> Sin ring bell. Wife steal bell. Sin kill wife. <laughs> Sin pull out replacement bell. Happy. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. We Damn, that little interval got us up to... 30% to go. Thank you guys very much. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got a, face, we got a Facebook gram a comment I have what? to read. Okay, can you read it while I pee? Yeah. Facebook gram here says, Mr. Cardigan was <laughs> so serious. That's Mr. Cardigan, I love it. He was so serious. Oh, Mr. Rogers. Now. Yet, where is Kaya's documentary as uh, she is a child trafficker enabler? <laughs> God. They're so stuck. There is one other person on YouTube who did a bad thing. Make a documentary about that one thing they did that one time. Jesus. She can't not think about all of them. They're so stuck on the Kaya lady. Yeah, she's a piece of shit, but come on. That was so six months ago. Salad wants to fart on people. Chantel is just awful. Mr. Cardigan was so serious yet. Where's Kaya's documentary about her as a child trafficker? No. She has no personality, so no one's going to bother Pause. doing a, a documentary on her. What? Pause. But yes, Pause they forgive yeah, someone. Who Salad wants people to fart. On him. Oh yeah, twerk quickly on my face. Twerk quickly on my face. What your salary usually, bitch? <laughs> Literally, is be in bed with a child, tra somebody with a legit sex offender. And Kaya got immediately expelled from what passes for polite society on this side of the internet. Oh yeah. Just when people found out about her fucking crack, crack whore dealing husband. That was it. Who were like, is that? That's a wrap She's on gone. that. When you're done taking a shit. Tell your kids to go brush their teeth. Be a man. <laughs> Don't do that. If you're going to shit on the wall, own up to it. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm doing my part. Thank you, Shadowclaw. You are. Uh, before I forget, Tina S., if you're out there, send me your info. You too, Knight of the Diamond Spoon. Oh, okay. I made one typo on the last Sunday Sunday stream. Where is my documentary, Mr. Snowflake? That's Where's the question. Where's my right documentary? Right, wife. Where's your documentary? Wife good. Wife fight back. Kill wife. Wife gone. Think about wife. Regret. Regret. It's okay. So right, what is so? It's so show cute. cute. It's so cute. It's such a good dinner. Also, also, hold on. Fuck yes. First off. I think the Christmas version of The Witcher and that one are, like, the best donations I've ever made. Yes, I agree. The 500 one is timed perfectly. The music is amazing. But I think that's the best one I've ever made. You did a very good job. Thank you. Uh, I'm doing my part. Uh, Deedle P, what, do, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> uh, going back to rewatch from the beginning, but happy Wednesday since. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, please keep this one. That one's not going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. And they are always perfectly timed. Hi, Shelly. If it's cold, wear your new scarf. Thank you, History Buff, and that is a great idea. You should go get that. Uh, that is perfectly timed. Oh, no. And I will. I will. Beautiful. Um, no matter how you spin it, you know, that's the past. Yeah, but you're still with this person. The wind is trying to escape from the door. Jesus Christ. And if some things are unforgivable, like with her own- The Witcher clip is what Chantel thinks she's doing when she calls Snowflake Mr. Cardigan. Yes. Arguments defeated. <laughs> words. And, and people always say Pantene. Pantene. I swear Pantene. it does not say whatever he says. It, it sounds more like it says the Valley of Pantene. Help support the growing bell collection. <laughs> I'm, I can't wait. I'm, I'm just going to grab the bell one day. And, like, Stop it. and she's going to take it. And I'm just going to pull another one out of somewhere. <laughs> Until he, I found out what he was like. And then he did not make another appearance in my chat. Prove it. Never. Who? Oh. Uh, Karate Joe, the guy who was a pedophile. That was, that, her, that was her like best buddy. It was her internet husband. Yeah. What, is she pretending like he was only there one time? No. She, he was there all the time, then it came out. But he was still there under a different name. Oh, I, I'm sure. Everybody knows it. Yeah. Never, not once. He was blocked that day. Because then she went on a big rant with Pete's about, well, if he did his time, he should be forgiven for all his stuff. It's not that bad, actually. Oh. So, no, what? I don't. The difference is this person is still in bed with this person. That's the difference. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, so much hypocrisy, so many lies. 
It's all BS. You can enjoy How whatever you want. You guys can still try to you meet up on somebody who doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> if that's what you want to do with your entertainment, salivating over. Imagine your only goal in life right now, your entertainment. You get popcorn for. You sit down in your PJs. Is to see someone rage. Like. Well, that's why it's called big hater money, Chantel, because it's entertaining. It is entertaining. What kind of life are you living? Like, why are I, you raging? This, for I the love people? my life, with the exception of my ear pain. I love my life, cause this is fun. I have fun doing this, cause then we get to make up memes like Chantel Salamanca. <laughs> but why is because she raging? Because she be in a wheelchair going ding yeah, ding. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> but why is she raging? If she doesn't want people to watch her raging, just eat some food. Maybe a salad. If you're not yourself when you're Calm hungry. down and pet the cat and just do your normal boring shit. You gotta pet the kitty. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? You pet the kitty? Like, don't come for me because I that's not what I'm into at all. And that right there makes me better on the internet all those for other people's people. entertainment. Whenever Chantel talks, I hear the theme tune from Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to think of what it is. Are we going to listen to it now? Yep, hold please. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> uh, this lag show is going to make a buzz ball taste test. Buzz balls are gross. Be oh, prepared. Yeah. I, I've done it. Yeah, they're, they're disgusting. They're not good. There's like one flavor. The chocolate one is the only okay one. Okay, but not even... I, no, it's, it's not, not good. good. It's just the <laughs> just best. Just okay. <laughs> just the best of the shit. Yeah, I, they're uh, that's, fucking awful. That's an old video on the Speakeasy channel. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. I see it. Indeed. Gatekeep gas like girl boss. <laughs> <laughs> Who just again beat the dead horse over and over and over. I saw a reaction channel who's supposedly Muslim in there. Nice Muslim. Nice Muslim you are. Gossiping and backbiting on another Muslim. Gotcha. What are you doing? Oops. What are you doing right now? Shut You're m m gossiping on another Muslim right this very second. Shut up. The lack of self-awareness <laughs> here is unbelievable. It is. It's amazing. <sighs> Oh, wow. Good Muslim you are gossiping in some haters channel. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. So don't ever come for my moral. Hey, Sam. Quality, ever. I will say Miss Sin still has not been farted or shrekt yet today, so it's been a good stream. It has. Let's go. Oh, give me that way. Don't tickle me knee like that. <laughs> I rejected free cheese, yeah. No, That's it's true, not all Sam. in my work. We are wrong. She is just defending herself. So he'll know. My story times, sure. But he did a lot of talking crap and using reference people who made up lies about me. Like Kathy. Like Michael B. Sweaty. Please, are you going to really, really? The fuck? Michael B. Petty hasn't made a video in like Surprise, four years. Motherfucker, this is the missile guidance system, bitch. I'm about to show you why the U.S. doesn't have free health care. So. This is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. The audio's off. Oh, that took a chunk out of Night of the Diamond Spoon. Wow. Wow. Look at wow. that. That wow, took quite wait. the chunk out. Who was it? Mad Yikes on Bikes. It was Mad Yikes on Bikes. Thank you so much for the big 200. Thank Look you. at that. Look at that. Beautiful. It's too quiet. It's too loud. <laughs> uh, my life is actually pretty good right now. Sorry to burst your bubble, Chantel. Although there is an astonishing amount of chat trying to take my slab shill crown. That, that is true. I have seen some other people. He can't buy a gimmick, man. Uh, Mad Yikes on Bikes is very good at what she does. Well, I might need one here soon. So, But thank you. Let's get a big thank you to Mad Yikes on Bikes and to uh, History Buff. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. You got schmutz on your face. Don't touch my face. You got schmutz on it. I'm going to put boogers on you. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, thank you, Mad Yikes on Bikes. Thank you, uh, History Buff. I hope this works. I love this dono. And I need to support my favorite couple. Thank you, Shiny Aww, Magpie. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you got thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's too oh, yeah, and boozing, blackfacing. That's okay, though. That was swept right under the rug. She didn't blackface. It was Marty, from what I understand. So, okay, wait, wait, wait. What I was thinking, she's, she's saying Mr. Snowflake is, like, getting his information on her from hater channels. Is, is, does she feel like if like he finds a clip on a hater channel, then it's false information because it, the clip came from a hater channel? Is that her theory? I think that is what she is trying to like, put forward, yes. Like, oh, Michael, be sweaty. That, that clip was from his channel, so therefore it's fake news? I, I don't understand. The lying mainstream media. <laughs> they just make this stuff up. 
<laughs> and I looked at it and I said, none of it's true. You got that information from CNN. You got that information from Michael B. Sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> oh, I love your authority in hands. Read my donut too. I did shiny magpie. Did you read it? Yeah. It Maybe probably... you didn't read it good enough. Read it again. Okay. One second. I think you didn't do it correctly. Hold on. I navigated away from That's the That's true, Susan. She's just blindly raging, not sure what the main thesis is. Yeah, I don't think she knows. Man can't trust the mainstream petty news. <laughs> you can't trust MBP. They're liars. <laughs> <laughs> you go to French fried coral and it's lies. <laughs> Yabba yeah, liar. Fake news, all of it, fake news. <laughs> oh, here's a good, here's a good news stream. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good job, Dirt Merchant. <laughs> it's Lion. Wait, what does it say? Lion Michael B. Petty. And I looked and I said, that's crooked Zachary Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like Trump mixed with Batman? <laughs> I can't keep my voice up here. It doesn't work. Shannon? You need to come up with Trump-esque nicknames for main reactors. All gay. <laughs> okay. oh, you're all gay. <laughs> I hope this works. I love this dono. I need to support my favorite couple. I did oh, yeah, read that. Oh, yeah, you did read that. Thank you, Shiny Magpie. Thank you, Shiny Magpie. <laughs> <laughs> Modded once again by FFG. Swept right under the rug. <coughs> Everything is swept under the rug. Unless oh, fuck that bit of Trump being pewed at. Oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Um, and a lot of Islamophobic people in your chat. I'm so jealous of your chat, Mr. Cardigan. Uh, Mary Ham, Islamophobic people, disgusting people in God, there. No thanks. Oh, you can say yeah, over there. Yeah, I would not trade my audience. About those slow uh, 500 of, people. Of if I'm not on camera, meat. sometimes less. I wouldn't trade. I would rather. It barely fits in there too. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> a 50, then 5,000 disgusting people. So yeah, somebody made a good word. point a minute ago in our chat. She has a uh, hundred thousand subscribers and seven hundred people watching her live. Well, I might be right now. It's live. Yeah, seven fifteen. That is quite interesting for a hundred thousand subscriber channel. It is. Oh, you guys like that one? LMFAO. Yes, LMFAO. Words at all. Um, Michael B. Sweaty, you're going to take the moral high ground when you start. You were a hate channel. They're you just were doing the courting hands right you now. <laughs> you're going to take the moral high ground <laughs> on me? I don't think so. Losers. For years. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> her hands are Cardigan and wearing she losers. What did she do with you? on her diet? Get a life. I don't know why. <laughs> Why Trump beauty gets me so much, but it's so good. No one's going to take more moral uh, lessons from you. So. Mad Yikes on Vikes. Dirt Merchant won this round. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. I'm trying. We were so. When I do the voice, it. It makes my throat scratch really bad. Well, yeah, I, I, I gotta figure out a way to do it audibly while using my false chords more up here. It's hard. Yeah, supporting each other, so whatever. Because now I have a very low, lower voice. Uh huh. So to talk up here, I have to use my false chords, but it's itchy, so I gotta figure out a way to but do it a itchy. little bit higher. Your neck is itchy. The Muslim Raptor is a train wreck. She literally sat for four hours on live trying to figure out if you had photoshopped your photo. Yeah, this is a Muslim, devout Muslim person talking about my morality and my, my uh, being Muslim and all these other things. Please. Well, I would imagine... Okay, so wait. So when the non-Muslims criticize her, <clears throat> her Muslim behavior, 
and say she's being heck ham, that's not okay because you're not a real Muslim and you can't tell me. But then when a real Muslim says you're being heck ham, she says, well, you're a real Muslim, so you can't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay? Unless so nobody been, can tell her. She knows all the rules of Muslims. Unless you've been president. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> See, I can't rules do it. Rules of Muslims. Hide your eyebrows, hide your chin. Done. <laughs> don't pray. Don't don't worry about none of the things. Talk shit. Just hide your chin. Apparently, that's heck am. Hi, Tracy. Monkey Mar. I've seen people in the chat say, I'm Muslim and I find Mary Ham offensive. You're not yeah, that's why we don't say it. Because there are Muslim people who I respect. So that is kind of offensive. So, okay. Not... Uh, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, okay. I see people like that in my chat, that's for sure. The whole world can hate you as long as you strive to make God proud. None of the rest of us matter. Would it matter? I think our whole chat should just start putting pig emojis. Would it matter at all? No. If somebody came in her chat and was like, you know what, I do find this offensive. No. When people came in her chat and told her that Goblin is oh, offensive, yeah. she didn't give a fuck. Actually, they're myth mythical creatures. Uh, actually, a ham is just meat, so... Uh, Leanda, member for one month. Thank you. Thank you, Leanda. Matters whether approved or not. Keep striving 100k subs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I can prove. I can put on my community post where I message. Is that neighbor shenanigans or aerial shenanigans? I think it was a neighbor. I really can't tell sometimes because we get ghetto birds a lot. Yeah, we do. It's YouTube because I was concerned about my channel growing. And they were, and they were like, oh, don't worry about it. YouTube was like, don't worry you know, about it. You're something. allowed to buy subscribers. You're it's fine. fine. I love how she's like, well, I went and talked to YouTube. I told YouTube that I'm fat and people <laughs> just don't like me for that. And they were like, oh, you're fat. You did nothing wrong, ma'am. Keep being fat and fine. They, she goes to YouTube. She's like, I think somebody, I don't know who, somebody done bought subscribers for my channel. <laughs> someone, like, for someone to buy subs, it's probably just, if it's bots or something, YouTube will just clear them out. <laughs> Sam says smoke detectors. <laughs> I checked Salah's bank statements because I was like, did you buy any subs? I feel like that string goal should have gotten a lot more of a reaction. That was fucking hilarious. I did. No, he showed me. No. So, I don't know. Like, yeah, say a prayer for trolls to find happiness in their life. And no, these are like legit. I saw a story the other day. Uh, who was it? Chantal has drones flying over your house. There was a drone flying over uh, one of those recreation Ren Faire battle things. Uh -huh. And somebody who was uh, a Viking or something had one of their spears and chucked it up at the drone and hit it and took it down. Oh, that's pretty cool. So they made they made a rock carving reenactment of it. I'm going to see if I can find it. People who believe just whatever these people say. Like, if you knew how Kathy was, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Horrible person. They, they hate you like it affects their lives. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Hi, Lizzie. The mods are working hard today. Yep. Karate Joe was a mod in my channel for a long time. And then one day he was doxxed. Okay, and it I was found out that. The video. But I'm looking for the rock carving of it. They're doing their little battle. How oh, cute. Oh, here it is. <laughs> 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 I, got, I got the picture. Hold on. How cool is this? That's adorable. You like that? Oh, boy. Who's Very calling? cute. Who's calling me? You're in charge. But he had, uh, he was a sex offender, registered sex Ellie. offender. And after that, he completely, he was blocked in my channel, and he completely disappeared. I've even had loyal beezers um, remember that. I, I have a feeling he probably wasn't blocked so in So, how channel. am I, yes, like, I supported him when he was a mod for a long time. I didn't he know who he was. He probably just took off because he was embarrassed you know? to be outed. I didn't know about his past. Who was embarrassed? So, you can't put that on me. Karate Joe. Oh. She was like, oh, I blocked him. That's not I my doubt fault. she blocked him. He probably just left of his own accord and got a new name. Yeah, no, she didn't block him. She doesn't block money. No. Uh, hide your chins, hide your eyebrows, hide your wives, hide your kids, <laughs> hide your husband because they blaming everybody out here. <laughs> Thank you, Dirt Merchant. Um, you know. Yeah, Katie. And he passed away, too, since that. Thanks, Lynn. I'm glad to hear that. I want to try mention about how you defended him and said he didn't do anything that bad. Yeah, and that he served his time, so he should be fine. No one should bother with it anymore. Yeah. Mention All I knew, he, he, was he was really loyal. He was obsessed with Oreos and Big Mac sauce. So I don't know what else. Because you're not. And, and little kids. And, he was, and little kids. <laughs> yeah, don't forget the, the children part. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Laura, people only have these standards. I know, strive for change. And they're only revealing themselves to be just more disgusting because the things that they people condone... People only have these standards racism, when it comes to you. Um, oh, so yeah, people only don't, like... 
hanging out with pedos if it's Chantel. Yeah. It's okay for everybody else to hang out with pedos. That's fine. Because she... Just Chantel can In her mind, <laughs> in her delusional ass head, <laughs> she has completely convinced herself that everything that happened with Kaya, nobody gives a shit. Right. Nobody cares. Like, everybody didn't dog the fuck out of her mm -hmm. and basically drummed her out of the community. And that the only people even remotely entertaining her anymore are the desperate of the desperate. Yeah. But no, she did. She did nothing wrong, and everybody loves her still. Yeah. That's in Chantel's mind. So much is just disgusting. Like just because it, they have. But if she, hate if for she me, was fat, you know? then maybe, My then phone. maybe people wouldn't like her. Well, I think that Kitty Touchers deserve a wick. They do. The director cousin said something like said he was really bad quality. No, it's like he's trying to be like soft white underbelly or something. With his stupid oh, there's that sweater. soft white underbelly. God. It, Th that's the only documentary Chantel's ever watched. Yes. Snowflake, I don't know if you're still out there, if you just popped in to, to show some love or whatever, but if you're still out there, you have to do something soft white underbelly. I mean, it kind of has to be done now. It needs the black and white. You need to give Jimmy a bell. You ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with it, but okay. <laughs> He was never back in my chat ever, ever back in my chat. That we know of. Prove it. Prove um, it. Prove it. Prove oh, it. Yeah. Prove it. Where's the proof? How, how? No, I wasn't racist. Oh, please. How? How, how was I racist? Mm. Oh, we don't <laughs> need to go over this again. We know how you were racist, man. Everyone knows. It's going to be like when Crowley pulls out the contract and it rolls down and across the right. floor. <laughs> um, Vanessa. Friggin' people. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Smelly cat. I'm genuinely not sold on the brown '70s music thing. I guess I, I just so many stupid. Yeah, no. Um, I don't care if no one believe. Who the five thousand haters that hate no matter what I do don't believe I'm Muslim? I don't care what grounds you have to say I'm not Muslim. Who in the right mind has the right to say that somebody doesn't believe in something? That's ridiculous. You're you're I don't you're a lost cause. I don't even have words for you. Seriously. What She's just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake the beaters, shake it. Ordering you to the end of lives. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> shake off her foot. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> like, like mooses do with their antlers. She's <laughs> gonna shake her foot off. <laughs> have, have, I think you. I think I showed you one. But have you ever seen a video of the deer or the moose shaking their fucking yeah, antlers? They shake their antlers off. Yeah, it's fucking. Cr it's not even like anything. They just go and they're off. And they're off. It's fucking like nuts. Feet. It's fucking. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. <laughs> I don't know like what your point. I don't know what the point is, but if you're gonna her like her aunt sexualizing ethnicities, her aunt saying twelve year old men wanted what? to get fucked. That's so disgusting. It was haters from Kiwi Farms, people who um, have done worse to me, such as Kathy in my life. She used to put curses on people to try says, to kill them. Okay, you not eating bacon is enough for me to believe it that she's Muslim. Just not eating bacon. Yeah, not on camera. Yeah, no. She ate like a dozen <laughs> pork hot dogs in fucking Thailand. Hey, um, I could get my friend to testify to that, but there's no point. I'm not going to entertain. What friends? What, what friend? Any more of this crap. I know part two is just going to be all about Nat Hurd. And oh, and I cannot wait. Hopefully we'll have time to cover it tomorrow. We might do a little bit of a marathon tomorrow. But Pete's outing her is still border hopping without even realizing it. Oh, she got mad. It's going to be all about um, probably victim shaming as if that, you know what, Mr. Cardigan, unless you're in an abusive relationship with an abusive narcissist. Oh, my God. You can I so do hope that Mr. Cardigan points out the timeline of how you bragged about the rough, sexy time and you loved it so much until Diddy got slapped and got attention. Slap. Oh, my goodness. That antler cliff was insane. Dude, it was fucking nuts. Let's see if I can find it. Let's get a little bit of a palate cleanser in here. You can can it too because you're gonna act like we don't have video evidence of him smacking you around, you stupid idiot. Seriously. But not you, Chantel. But not you. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. You said the, the lady who was recording 24 7, every time she was with him, has no video evidence other than him saying, ah, loudly one time. Oh, here we go. Look at this shit. This is fucking nuts. Look at this. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Gone. I'm gonna find those. That would be fun. That is insane, dude. Seriously. Literal video evidence of uh, of him being abusive. Okay. You're going to say I was manipulative? He's the king of manipulators. The king of manipulators. No, he just out manipulated of you. He just asked for your money and you gave it to him. That's it. He didn't abuse you. That's it.
He asked for money, and you said, here, I'll pay you if I can come over. That's it. Yeah. Stupid. Any narcissist abuser is, okay? And I fell in the trap, sure, whatever. No, you didn't. No, but looking back now, oh boy, yeah. Mm, poor Dee Dee got slapped, and then everybody felt she bad for her, and you wanted everybody to hate her. So all of a sudden, Chantel was the real victim of domestic abuse. It's you, such a fucking lie. You had to go to the police and recant your statement mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. I and know what she even told the police wasn't that he abused her. It was that they had rough sex and she didn't like it. But she loved the rough sex. Mm -hmm. He was a dom. It was so hot. Look at these bruises on my titties. It was so hot. Clip that. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> she loved it. Every fucking second of it, she loved it. And she paid him for more of it. Uh-huh. But and then, then, she... then Dee Dee got an ounce of sympathy for stealing her man. And suddenly, I'm the victim of abuse. Or I'm an abuse victim. Victim shaming. Don't clip that. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm in Kuwait. She's doing her reaction in 20 minutes to multiple react channels. Okay, oh, we should it. still be on. We'll take a look. Only God is the ultimate judge. Exactly. Exactly. So. I, I would love to see your reaction to that string call. <laughs> that, I would say, is BS 100%. Big fancy hookah. I have blacks, I have no idea. You know, oh, well, you should have kept the charges on him or it didn't happen. Okay, go look up statistically how many abused women drop charges. Well, here we go. Eight. Go look. Oh, right, Artemita. And he hid her keys that time she was wasted and wanted to drive. So basically, he kidnapped her. Uh -huh. That was abuse. When you have feelings for someone at the time and they make you feel bad, did you hear anything he would say to me? Anything he said to me? No, you didn't. Ah. You never heard his him trying to, ah. you know get in my good graces or like try to say oh I love you blah 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 to try to yeah know. because he wanted money because yeah. you're a fucking idiot because he didn't love you he didn't care about you he did not give a flying shit about your feelings toward him nope he just wanted money mm -hmm. he said me a money needing a lot now and you're like here's hundreds mm -hmm. you know what I mean he was very manipulative and going from having somebody like let's see if that works he was living with another woman and telling you he wasn't with you and he didn't want to be with you. And he was never going to claim you. That Your relationship with him was like two weeks. Done. You're, it was all in your head. And you wanted to pay him for attention. Let's see if that the works. The true victim of abuse. Guys, me, a money needing a lot now. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Right. BB to Trying that? to manifest my hopes. Gorilla regret. What do you got? Gorilla regret. Gorilla, Gorilla this, regret. What is in your hand? Nuts. What are you doing with the nuts? They were for the thing. What the heck? I had no experiences with people like this. <coughs> like, please. And at the time, of course, I didn't want to believe what he... You interrupted my manifesting of guerrilla regret. What uh, uh, May said. You know, all I knew was there was this woman who, who you knew wanted to come down and see him. You knew that a woman said Natter assaulted her, and you said, I'm going to lie to the police for Natter. Maybe he'll let me come over if I do. Yeah. Then That's you, what happened. You went to Toronto. Maybe he won't fuck other women. Maybe he'll just fuck me. Yeah, that didn't happen. No... Him, fly down to see him spend all that money for what his cooking so i thought she had a crush on him yes you said you would spe spend like two thousand dollars a month for him to cook for you no she's talking about me oh. so many women were reaching out to him and he said it was consensual and he wasn't know? entertaining all of them Chantel. so many women were, were reaching out to him and he was entertaining every single one of them in your face and you still couldn't get it through your head that he was not your boyfriend and 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 you encouraged every single one of them. Guys, call us on Messenger. We're going to get offline. Why don't you give us a call? Uh -huh. Here's his Facebook. Adam, go follow his channel. Yep. I made him a channel. Yep. You know what I mean? How do I know? I would and what did he give you? Gonorrhea. Twice. <laughs> yep. is not there. Like, I went home. I don't even remember everything. Like, it's so dumb to try to blame me saying, oh, that people are saying that I brought him women. Who? Who did I bring? Who did I for? I didn't even know he had all these women. The ones you said Every to call Every single him. one who has you said to call. ever seen you say, guys, give us a call. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know he was cheating on me. I was in denial. For I didn't know. You were know. in denial while he was on the phone with the other women in front of you. I didn't know. And I was in denial. I so didn't which know one? he was cheating on me while he was living with another woman. Yeah. I thought they were just friends. But they just slept in the same bed. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, just just say that. <laughs> so long. He lied to me about even being with Dee Dee. Yes. The whole time. 
He did. And, and you were dumb enough to fall for it. But he didn't abuse you, Chantel. He didn't abuse you. <laughs> Sam, you get the clap two times. <laughs> and then when I heard the Sam's... And you come back one year. Bar lounge videos, I was like, okay, it's confirmed. I'm going to back I mean, He may I have abused her financially. And she could say that. He abused no, me financially. No, she tried to abuse him financially I mean, by getting him hooked on her cash, making him dependent on her. That's true, actually. But... That's he it. He just outplayed her. That's it. He outplayed her, and she is still fucking pissed off about it. Yep. It happened publicly. She got told no publicly, so she is embarrassed. She is pissed. She did not get her way. That's what the issue is. Nothing else. Yep. He was lying to me the whole time. If it weren't for this stuff right here, if it wasn't for her ego, her persona, and being made to look like a fool, she would be doing it right now she wouldn't be in kuwait she would still be chasing him and you notice this whole rant she's on about nader he lied to me he was talking to other women he was lying about Dee. Dee. none of it is this one time he punched me in my fucking face this one time he kicked me when i was walking down the stairs nothing nothing of actual abuse in any of her stories well not a single one well she'll get to it she because she does say what he did she says he put cigarettes out on me. Won't show the marks. Oh, she would have showed those marks <laughs> while they were she still wet. Every abuse or every sex mark that she had. Oh, he bit me right here. It was so hot. She showed every single one uh -huh. of them. Please. Anybody who's even dropped a cigarette. Because you're hungry, fucking whore. Where it burns in knows it leaves a mark. Yeah. If he put cigarettes out on you, you would still have the scars. She would still have the scars. That's true. But you can't show them. Uh -uh. Uh, come on, guys. We don't want Natalie to be staticky. Huh? Okay, Susan. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and, and I was putting up with his abuse and everything. Goodbye. I'm, I'm whatever. Never. Slim, that's the dumbest question ever. People thinking I miss that loser. I'm like, do I ever talk about him? Do I ever, you know, never. I never even think about him ever, unless it's brought up by people like reaction channel. Chantel, you've talked you about him literally right now. every single stream. Right now, it was well. His next documentary is going to be about Nat Turd. You brought it up right now. He didn't bring it up. You did. Weird. Oh. And yeah, uh, if this where's this cigarette oh. burn story? Is <laughs> Natalie just coming out right now. Natalie Chantel's sister. We don't want Natalie to be static. Uh, <laughs> the dryer okay, sheets. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I didn't know that was her sister. So. <clears throat> want to bring up that that traumatic part of my life? You know, traumatic. Um, I felt bad for Dee Dee, and a part of me does. Oh. No, wait. You felt bad for Dee Dee, didn't you? Say he hoped he killed her or something. Yeah, you said he hopes he choked. He. She hopes he chokes her out. Oh, that sounds like you feel bad for Dee Dee. Look, it, it does seem that when she gets angrier, her eyes get different shapes. They, they the one just starts really bulging. Mm -hmm. He does honestly because I know what it's I know what he's like, but at this point she doesn't even feel bad for herself. Like she's just like I think she's just like him. Like in a lot of ways, I don't know. She's a strange one, I'll tell you. But I mean. You can go to bat for him all you want, Dee Dee. He's not going to change, and he's not worth it. You have your mother there. He's a disgusting human being. You have to support him. I know. Chantal, you tried to fake marry him. Mm -hmm. You bought yourself an engagement ring and did a photo shoot in the park, not the store. <laughs> By yourself. <laughs> because I had to. Um, you're going to be miserable, and you're going to regret it one day. I know. God, look at that. It, that is hardcore drunk lie. It. Yeah, it is. <laughs> She's doing the Perry Mason, not Perry Mason, the Columbo thing. So, one more thing. Her mother lived in a one bedroom condo. Yeah. So jealous. <sighs> now, in retrospect, yeah, I believe, I don't know, I wasn't there, but the story is a lot more plausible about me because. <laughs> the angry puffs. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, she believes the story about me. When I reread over and over those messages, I was like, wait, you know. And then just the way he would lie. She, you know she believed it then. Uh-huh. Because she made a fake alibi for him. Right. But, about, like, but it, it wasn't that he did anything bad to her. It was just that he was cheating on her. 
Oh, like yeah. That was what he did bad. What he did to May, that didn't matter. He did a bad thing by cheating on Chantel, even though they weren't together. Mm -hmm. He just told so many lies. And my, my mistake was believing him. Yep. Hi, Allison. At the time, when I had feelings for that gremlin, I was, like, disillusioned. I didn't care about anything. I didn't care about myself. I just wanted to be with him. And now that I have that veil taken off, I'm dealing with a lot of... Uh, Sin, is the AAA still on for Friday? Why it wouldn't it? It says for it? today, but... Oh, for today. Um, as far as I know... ...of trauma. And I know you hate me, and I know you don't believe me, but I am. I deal with a lot of trauma about what happened. So... Well, it comes I, mean, I would deal with a lot of trauma about what happened too if I gave a crackhead probably fifty thousand dollars and now I'm broke. Yeah, I would have trauma over that. Yeah. I mean that's that's the trauma that she has. It's not about being abused. Yeah. I wish I had fifty thousand. I wish I had fifty dollars. Right. <laughs> Stream last night, I don't know. <laughs> if someone goes to put lovingly hey, put Fustone. their hand on my face, I flinch. Like, oh, shut up. Bull, shut up. Dude, we salad watched... pinches you and you lean into it. Shut up. Remember when Salad had the boxing gloves on? I was like, eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. And then she loved it. She's like, hey, 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 hey. She's so full of shit. Salad taps her face, gives her. Yep. And she loves it. She loves it. You know? She's thinking of what can I say he did? Yeah. What can I say? He if I squint me. my eye, maybe it won't But pop you can out. see her thinking in her head. I, I see the little buffering. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what can I say he did? And even Dee Dee, I feel bad for her. Even Dee Dee. No, you don't. You, even if you did, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's say she did feel bad for Dee Dee. Mm -hmm. She has said so many times that she hoped Natter hurts her, mm -hmm. beats her, mm -hmm. or worse so many times that it does not matter if no. you say you feel bad for it. doesn't at all. Because I don't... Dang it. I think she deserves that. I don't think anyone deserves that. So, but everything he did to her in that video, I can't, I don't like watching that video because he did the same to me. His, the way his face turned, the way he snorted and growled, he flicked, started by... Oh shit, that was all in the microphone, my bad. I know some of you guys like it. To and do you like the chin scratch? Yeah. Flicking a cigarette at me. He. Uh, it's, oh, he flicked a cigarette at her. Well, no, listen. Burnt cigarettes on me. Oh, burnt cigarettes. Okay, during this time, this is when Chantel was still in her I'm running around in my bra to look sexy face. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't we have seen, like, big burns all over her? You would think. You would think there would be been, like, big burns and scabs on her. Mm -hmm. Putting a cigarette out leaves a big fucking scab. Yeah. Um, threw, threw things at me, punched me, smacked oh, really? me. Where was the bruise on your face? Because you were on video literally every single day. Literally every day that she was with Natter, she was streaming every single day. Did you ever see any slight bruise on her when she was punched in the face? Nope. That's really weird. Grime time powers. I followed Natter on Insta for T, and he immediately, immediately... DM'd Mia, tried to video chat me. It was that easy, girl. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Hmm. He called well, me he names. was really just trying to and punch you in the face. That's why he did that. Yeah, he, I mean. Obviously. The worst thing is, he, he blamed it. He would blame it on me for what he did. And I would be like, oh, yeah, I must have done something. Oh, yeah. You're such a liar. Okay, he's not going to say sorry, so I'm just going to suck it up. Like, what kind of self-worth did I have? None. No, he, he wouldn't. What, remember when she would come on live and say, just say you're sorry. Just say you're sorry. It wasn't for punching me in the face. Yeah. It was for lying or for cheating on me or for talking to Dee Dee. It mm -hmm. was some petty, stupid shit. It was never about punching you in the face. Yep. Wasn't Foodie talking about going at them with a butcher knife? She was indeed. <sighs> And when she was All as of the angry signs I ignored, as she like, was at him, like Cuba Rage level of anger, she 100% would have told these, he put cigarettes out on me stories. Look at this fucking scar he gave me. This 1 million percent would have been put out. Oh, for sure. There's no way she would have kept the secrets for him even after she supposedly hated his guts. Nope. 
and was calling him a camel and everything. Late at night, uh, hiding the phone, talking on the phone with like, oh my god, I don't even know how many. Yeah, yeah. Keeping, talking to other women. Keeping, there we go back to talk. Yeah, he, he was abusing me. He was punching me in the face. But the worst part, he was on the phone with other women. Yep. That was worse. All of the disgusting videos of other women because he would say that in case he wanted to use them to bribe them in the future. Um, ignored that. I told him to delete them, but you can't tell him what to do. No, you He's didn't. He's And for people to sit there and no, think... You would have been more than happy to let him use those against other women. Oh, yeah. As long as you were the one he claimed. Right. The, if I would he would just to... claim you, you would have been behind him on everything. You would have been trying to run scams on other women with him to get money for coke if he would have just claimed you. Yep. Back to that. You don't know me and you're disgusting. That's it. That's all I have to say. But we do know you because during that whole entire time, you put every single thought, feeling, and emotion that you had out online. Vamp Diva, when you said you flinched, girl, I felt that keep feeling, sending love and hugs. Thanks, Vamp Diva. I appreciate that. And I'm sorry. I hope, I, I'm really sorry that you had to go th through that too. And a lot of women have gone through that. That like, you would think that they would understand what you're going through, but they still shame you, you know? Yeah, he has a lot of videos of me and he'll keep them forever. Of course he will. Good question, Susan. What does this have to do with the Snowflake doc, though? She is putting out things, hopefully, for Mr. Snowflake to see. I can only imagine. To say, oh, he's like, Natter was a really bad guy. Foodie said that he you... punched her in the face and put out cigarettes on her. That's what she's doing. Yeah. Want to try to save his she's reputation? She's all of a sudden now too. telling you these abuse no stories that she has never told until right now. Mm -hmm. Never. Did how many times did I try to come on there and say, "Well, he's not really not that bad. <laughs> he's that bad," and then he's literally evil, evil personified yep so you can pretend like it's wonderful in there but when i even the few times that i was at her place he was like running the place he was horrible i, I don't know how she lives like that i don't you guys know I was you wanted to live like that you yeah. were over there and saw it and you tried to buy him a fucking apartment so that he would do it to you instead shut up shut up yeah she tried to buy him his own crack den and like a day and then come home on the long road crying my eyes out I can't they imagine. went I looking at apartments. Wait, hold but on. But when he told her that she couldn't move into the apartment with him, then she decided he couldn't have it. Well, listen to this. This is a really good, interesting point. I would literally spend like a day and then come home on the long road crying my eyes out. I can't. Because he made you leave. Mm -hmm. Because you made to go home. Yeah, because he made you leave. That's the only reason you were crying and woe is me -ing. And you were on live during that time. And you weren't saying, I'm crying because he hit me. He punched me in the face. Look at my red mark. You were saying he made me go home. Dee Dee's over there and they're having wine. That's what you did, Chantel. Yep. I can imagine, I don't know Shut how you do it. Shut up. God, she makes me so mad. So to say that I would ever go back to that and how it's, you know, my story would. Tried to win. Right now, this uh, very second, if he told you he had his own apartment and wasn't living with Dee Dee, you would run. Livy, just for that, I'm gonna make bad choices. Validate my stories. And then Mr. Cardigan um, says I just wanted sympathy when I would go over my breakup story <laughs> with uh, BB. Oh, really? So those, you know, those tears were just fake, I guess. And then play a, a part back to where I said, you know, if we ever had to break up because we don't want, he does, he wants kids and I don't, then that will happen. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to be hurt that I had to break up with him. Like, what the heck? You, you're saying I don't have a right to feel hurt for breaking up with BB just because it had to happen? And actually, we didn't he break up because up of anything child-related. Like I said, he never brought up breaking up. You said it was child-related. Uh-huh. You can try to rewrite history all you want. You already said the stuff that happened. Yep. I brought it up a few times. I wasn't happy. He was always ignoring me, gaming, watching TV. He was just like... Yes, how dare he try to enjoy his free time? He, hmm. You know, like... She has to eat on camera for um, money. He still does that, as far as I know. So... So what? He is a grown-ass man. This is a fully grown adult human being who wants to play video games. Mm -hmm. Who gives a shit? Chantel he just does. didn't want you smelling and eating in the background. Yep. It hurt because it was like something familiar that I had to end for seven years, but I wasn't happy anymore. I wasn't in love with him anymore. I wasn't happy. Um, I wasn't satisfied. So that's why I tell you, if I'm not satisfied in a relationship and I'm not happy, you're probably going to know, <laughs> you know? Right. Because you keep nothing private. Nothing. You must have loved him to stay. Some of these people have no clue about domestic violence. Yeah, at the time I did have feelings for him. 100% I did. Yes, I did. And, but you weren't in a relationship. No. They don't show their true colors at first. Like, and then even then you kind of just ignore it. Like, imagine, like, being an actual abuse <laughs> victim. Someone who's lived. <gasps> okay. Someone who's lived this, someone who has been through actual abuse, like bad abuse, seeing Chantel 
come on live and claim that she is exactly like you because she went through a traumatic experience with a crackhead who wouldn't claim her, but she would go out of her way to drive two hours. Two hours. To his girlfriend's house. Yeah. Just to see him for 10 minutes and Mm -hmm. give him drug money. Right. And then you say, well, studies say that women try to leave abusive men at least eight times. Yeah, that's when they're living together or have kids together and they can't fucking get away from the relationship, Chantel. Not when they have to drive two hours to go see him. You hopped in your little Kia and you went back there as soon as you could. Mm -hmm. Every single time. Paid for permission to go. Look at that Risa Tisa. She's getting a lot of hate too for staying and believing the lies of this man she was with, this Legion guy, because you just, they, they, min- oh, isn't that the, yeah, but you know what? She actually married him. She actually got pregnant by him. She was actually with him. He claimed her, Chantel. Big difference in the relationship there. Manipulate you, and it's, it's so common for women and with a narcissist. Narcissists are like master manipulators. Chantel, you are the narcissist you know? in this situation. The- the the brass tacks where's my wall fishing around for it the brass tacks of this situation is Chantel got outplayed yeah that's it yep she didn't and get what she wanted I don't know she wasted all of her money another thing I want to bring up is people like to quote when I said I think it was in Cuba Rage I'm gonna uh, manipulate you and you're gonna eat it up I was quoting a hater in chat Some... no you weren't no you were not whoops hold on <laughs> You know, right, Moonface. I wish my abuser had another girlfriend and moved two hours away. Right? That would make it so easy. Women wouldn't stay on average eight times, according to the studies. Mm-hmm. I don't know. She, mm, she makes me. Another so thing mad. I want to bring up is people like to quote when I said, "I think it was in Cuba Rage." I'm gonna uh, manipulate you, and you're gonna eat it up. I was quoting a hater in chat. No, you weren't. No. Stop it. Nope, she was not. That did not come from chat. Just stop. Just rewriting history. Somebody, um, in chat. Would always say so now, because she knows us. that on the next episode of Mr. Snowflake, it's going to cover all this. And he's going to use that clip of her saying, I'm going to manipulate you and you're going to come back and watch me again. And she's like, well, I was just reading a comment in chat. Yeah, that's she's, why she that's put what, the whole... That's what this whole thing is. Yeah. Because, you know, whatever. So I would say that um, I was quoting exactly what they said. Mm-hmm. And so that was that. I wanted to bring that up. I know I said that before, but... Um, You've never said that at all, nope, ever. Never, never said she was burnt by cigarettes. Never. I don't said know she how I would punch in the face. People. Never I said any of this. All until was right genuine now, about how I'm feeling, whether I was Mr. Snowflake video uh-huh. on a diet, not on a diet. I guess if you you could count, if you you know at the time I would say, okay, let's start a health journey, blah blah blah. Yeah, those were my true intentions at the time. I didn't have an intention of turning and making people like you know using their emotions in that sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, having your son woke you up good, Vanity. I'm glad you're out of that. It's not easy, and people like to shame. I'm not going into detail, but as a victim of DV, SA, and CSA. Hmm? Oh. Uh, I may come across as happy and joyful, but I truly want to be Batman. Chantel, <laughs> Chantel truly pisses me off. Uh-huh. Uh, all I want all I want is to see what she would do if she ever... Uh, no, I can't read the rest of that. But thank you, Liz. The kind of person that she is, she would have not been able to keep that a secret. No. There no, is no, 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 no way. Maybe I would say if if all the way through the whole Nader arc, she was still being like, no, he's a really sweet guy. No, I really like him. Mm-hmm. Maybe then I would say, okay, maybe she was covering for him the whole time. But by the end of it, she fucking hated his guts. And she came online every day and she raged about every lie he ever told, everything he ever said, every this or that. She found a video clip with him saying, ah, in the background to prove that he was mean to her. But that's it. Yep. And that was all of it. Mm -hmm. And she put every single ounce of it that she could come up with out on the internet. Yep. That would have been because I didn't have kids. Most people stay for kids or they're financially dependent. No, there's an emotional bond there as well. You know, how many times did Nader try to leave? Probably more than eight. Oh, God. Yeah. Nader tried to leave all the time. Tracy, what do you mean? Is it okay? This quality? Met my husband now within a year. We live together and I'm pregnant. Finally found someone. I'm so glad uh, Kroon's good. I I think a lot of people have gone through something where they're, you know, either used or abused or treated poorly in a relationship, you know, and we learn and move on. Um, So... Sorry, Liz. If people take it so seriously, there's something wrong with them, not you. Yeah. I'm sorry, Liz. Uh, I agree. Yeah, Roach Queen. I love the sound of rain. 
I imagine for people who have actually gone through this stuff, like bad DV, bad essay, all that stuff, I imagine this is probably very upsetting to hear. Right. I imagine. Like, I have not been through, but just thinking, if I had been, I'm fucking furious. <laughs> it's your problem. The ads. I'll try to fix the settings. My ex got his own ways to manipulate me to stay because otherwise he would end his life and wanted to leave. Yeah, that's called unaliving dating. Yeah. You mean what you did to your mom? Mm. <laughs> but, oh, wait, you stole that story from somebody else, right? No, oh, but this is, she's talking about someone's, someone's abusive ex did that, right? <clears throat> but Nat or your abusive ex, you, you were doing everything to keep him around. That's weird. Weird. And bringing up something again, like when I was 15 or I was less than 15, how old was I? I was like a child, basically, with this whole like unaliving incident. Like I was mentally disturbed and not well. Oh, that's right. I do have a donation of him supposedly being abusive to her. And she's laughing and giggling and playing along. She loved every second of it. And because so, she was I'm, getting attention from him. Uh -huh. He could I mean, yell at her, like, where's my thumbnail? He could, he could treat her like shit. She did not care. Nope. Are people using traumatic events against He's me? He's an why Egyptian man. He was all she ever wanted. things like mm -hmm. that. Or why are like... Now she has to settle for a Syrian. I know, <laughs> story right? time from 20 years ago to try to say that I'm a bad person. Like, what? Like, my story times are just weird. They're not, they don't make me a bad person. No, you being a bad person is what makes you a bad person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we got to cut this a little early because I got to go get my z pack. Um, yeah. Well, um, it's only three minutes early, but yeah. Okay. Well, guys, <laughs> sorry, we got to cut this a little bit early, but we will be back. Yeah, he was an Adonis. He was. Uh, we will be back tomorrow at some point to cover the rest of this and hopefully start the Pete's Rage. Yes, that's so the plan. We'll be back tomorrow, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Thank you for an amazing show. Guys, you have a wonderful evening, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Love night. you. I love you the most. Uh, way more than Shelly. No, nope, that's not true. Yes, it is. They I, know it's not I true. love Shelly. I love you. Yeah, the, you love me more. I, I love you. I